So, you might have heard that a rare solar eclipse will be passing over the United States on August 21st, and that this one is apparently a very big deal. But what exactly is a solar eclipse, and why is this one so special? A solar eclipse happens when the moon gets in between the sun and the earth. We know the earth is continuously orbiting around the sun, and the moon is continuously orbiting around the earth. Once in a while, the moon ends up right in the path between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow over part of the earth's surface. This is called a solar eclipse. Solar eclipses themselves are actually not that rare. Most of the time though, the moon only partially blocks out the sun's light, and usually it can only be seen over largely uninhabited parts of the earth. What's rare is to see the moon completely block out the sun's light. That's called a total solar eclipse. This month's total solar eclipse will offer people in the United States a unique experience from coast to coast, with a path of totality starting in Oregon and ending in South Carolina. For a few minutes, day will turn into night. For us here in Georgia, the path of the eclipse will cut across the top northeast corner of the state, with the moon blocking 100% of the sun in Hart, Rabin, Stevens, and Towns counties. But don't worry if you're not within this path. Even those in the southernmost part of Georgia will still be able to experience a solar eclipse that blocks almost 90% of the sun's surface. Compare that to Los Angeles with 62% and New York City with 71%, and you're still in good shape to see the eclipse. The last time the U.S. caught a glimpse of a total solar eclipse was in 1979, and the last time a total solar eclipse went from coast to coast was 99 years ago. So it's pretty fair to hype this one up. Now, a few important notes on safety. It's never a good idea to look at the sun directly. During the eclipse, even when part of the sun is blocked, it's still dangerous to stare at the sun as it can seriously damage your eyesight. Make sure you grab a pair of eclipse glasses like these. They're different from regular sunglasses because when you put them on, you can't really see anything except for the sun. Now, if you don't have eclipse glasses, try using a pinhole projector. It's easy to make your own. Just take a thumbtack or a nail to create a hole in a note card or a piece of paper. With your back to the sun, hold the note card down towards a blank surface like the sidewalk or a second piece of paper to see the phases of the eclipse as it happens. If you don't want to wait until August 21st or the year 2045 when the next total solar eclipse will pass over Georgia, use a flashlight to represent the sun and two balls to represent the earth and the moon. And you can create your own solar eclipse at home or in the classroom. From wherever you're watching the eclipse, I hope you can make the most of it. To learn more about this eclipse, make sure to check out the other links on gpb.org for more information.